priorities for the early settlers was to establish a place of worship. A group from Warrenville separated themselves from the first DuPage Baptist Church to organize a Baptist society in Warrenville. They proclaimed, being a distance from our mother church, we resolved to organize a regular Baptist church in Warrenville. As they sought help for preachers from the sister churches in the area, Abel Carpenter rode on horseback back to his former church in Massachusetts to solicit money for this new society. As it turns out, Abel was a real doer for this church in years to come. They functioned as the Warrenville Baptist Society until 1836 when they received their charter and the right hand of fellowship. The ceremony was held in the First Baptist Church of Naperville. Elder S. T. Hinton from the First Baptist of Chicago, Elder Hubbard, and Judge Isaac Wilson of Naperville presided over the ceremony, extending the right hand of fellowship. The membership grew until they could no longer meet in members' houses, and grew some more until they outgrew the schoolhouse. They resolved to get a building of their own. During the first years of the second DuPage Baptist Church, pastors were hard to find and keep. Some left to start another church. Some used Warrenville as a stepping stone for higher endeavors. Inadequate pay was the most frequent reason for leaving. The weekly or monthly salary was determined by the church's ability to pay, but not less than $5 a week. Pulpit supply was $5 for one Sunday of preaching. Besides, there was no parsonage in which to stay. Most took rooms in a boarding house or stayed with church members. It is said that Mr. King had a room in the schoolhouse. Warrenville became a popular meeting place for Northern Baptist Association. Numerous meetings were held here in the 1840s and 50s, and a number of causes and projects were begun during these years. One result was the Warrenville Academy, and it was the earliest private school in the Chicago area. New members continued to join from the areas around Warrenville. About 20 members lived in the area called Big Woods. They now resolved to get a bigger church building of their own. During the 15 years in this building, much progress and development came in this area, and the Baptist Church was called the largest in the Western country. When the Northwestern Baptist Convention convened in 1844, they rescinded anti-slavery resolutions. Baptist leaders in our area became incensed. A mass meeting in Warrenville of 40 delegates from 12 churches convened, with the outcome being that two anti-slavery publications came into being and several anti-slavery societies were established. Many disciplinary problems arose in the early church. Members were expected to adhere to Bible commandments and the church covenant. Action was taken at church meetings. Women started to bring grievances against other women. The deacons deemed it necessary to give them the right to vote at the meetings. <laughs> 